And I'm Kim Kardashian, and we're here to see Howard Stern. We've never done a show, so we're excited. We're virgins to Howard. You love stealing my lines. I do always steal your lines. Chloe said that earlier. Yeah, it's, it's your first time on the show. What do you guys expect? Um, I expect a little bit of craziness. We've never been on, you know, the show. We've obviously watched it, heard it, been fans for a long time, so you never know what Howard will say. So I'm just going to go with the flow today. It's early. It's early, so we might need a little... I might be like, what did you say? This might get our day going. Yes. <laughs> you guys ready, though? We're yeah. ready. Ready. All right, have fun in there today. Thank you. All right, Robin, we have a... Uh... Two stars of reality television, Kim and Khloe Kardashian. Oh, we only have two of the sisters. We have two of the sisters. Good hey, girls. To see you. Tell me what it's like to get on TV, be a uh, reality star. What do you got to do? Let's get. Let, a lot of people want this. Are you surprised when you read in the paper that those people crashed the White House and stuff? Because they want to be where you guys are at. They want their own reality show. So maybe we should have crashed the White House on our show. In, yeah, a sense, it's stalked in a sense, yeah, don't you feel pressure that you always have to come up with something sort of odd and almost antisocial to be interesting on the show? Like, well, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I know what you mean, but it was so funny because after season three, we were like, okay, what are we going to do now? Like, what are we going <laughs> to do? Season four is coming. Like, we're so not that interesting. And then Court got knocked up and this one got married. So we had season four. Now Maybe season four season is five. fascinating. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, how do you get the reality show? You guys are on E? Mm -hmm. On E, yeah. On E. Well, I think there's, I mean, the dynamic of having 10 kids, my mom and Bruce, between the two of them, there's 10 of us. Um, we all were kind of hanging out and... L.A., Hollywood, you know, being seen. And, you know, my mom met up with Ryan Seacrest and they right. came up with this idea. And Because Ryan Seacrest felt the family was interesting. Yes. And this was after, like, they had the sex tape of you with that guy. What, what's his Ray name? J. Ray J. <laughs> which was great. That guy. I like that name are better. You, do you feel embarrassed by that tape or are you happy about it in the sense that I heard Vivid paid you like five million bucks for the tape? Is that true? I don't, I don't think that anyone would ever be happy about something like that. Um, but it launches you in a way. I mean, the fame comes about because of the tape in a way. Same thing with Paris Hilton. When she got the sex tape, everyone really got interested. I mean, in I can get definitely how you could say that and think that. I think when you're going through it, like now I'm just like, oh, I wish no one would even bring that up. I wish no one really? would even talk about it. But five but, mil is pretty good. I don't care what you tell me. At the end of the day, that's decent money. <laughs> nice. Exactly. Did you guys grow up with money? Like your dad was Kardashian, the lawyer. Robert Kardashian. Yeah. Robert Kardashian, who died of cancer, right? Mm -hmm. um, he was a very famous attorney, represented OJ and all that stuff. Yeah. Your dad um, was a well-off guy, right? Yeah, we. I mean, we grew up in Beverly Hills. We definitely had a really privil privileged life, but my dad was extremely strict. We all had to, you know, get jobs. We, we knew at 18 we had to be out of the house. We had to pay for everything. Out of the house at 18? Was it he, traumatic? Was it traumatic for you when we did? Let me take you back a bunch <laughs> of years when your dad was alive. Your mom was good friends with Nicole, OJ's wife. Yes. And the week before Nicole was murdered, that you guys actually went away on a vacation with her, right? Yeah, every uh, spring break we would go to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. So. And Nicole was beautiful and a nice person, right? Yeah, incredibly yeah. sweet. Right. I was actually best friends with Sydney Simpson, her their daughter. Are you still in touch with Sydney? No. I feel um, like she like kind of dropped off. The, like this blew her mind so bad that I feel like she's like gone somewhere. I mean, I don't know where she lives. I heard or, she's doing really well. I think um, she moved and went to college. I think in Boston. Um, we speak to her brothers, her two brothers. Right. And do you, we're, do we're you so write her? Does anyone in touch with her from like friends from the past? No, not really. And what no. was that like? I mean, uh, here you were good friends with Nicole, and you, I guess you knew OJ killed her, and then your dad had to represent OJ. I think at the time, like I just believed we were me and my sister Courtney. Chloe was a little bit younger, but Courtney and I just believed everything that my dad would do. Right. We were such daddy's girls because we felt like, you know, my mom had remarried so fast and it kind of broke my dad's heart and she moved on. So we just sided with my dad no matter what it was. Right. So at the beginning, my dad definitely did believe in OJ, did couldn't believe that his best friend would do that. Um, 
So you think he really believed that he was innocent? Yeah, for a long time. Right. And then, um, so we always were at my dad's house, and there was, you know, Bob Shapiro and Johnny Cochran, and they're having all these meetings, and we'd go there. You would go to the meetings, and OJ would be there. Well, it was at my dad's house. So everyone was just like the Bronco chase happened from my dad's house. Like all that stuff. Like it was, we were very much in the heart of it all. Was OJ at your house a lot, even like planning his defense, or was he in jail? He was in custody, right? They didn't release him, right? Okay, so yeah. Before he was, he was staying at our house, and then we'd go to my mom's house where Faye Resnick was living, and she was really. Really close to the Brown family, so we'd hear one thing, and you know, it was uh, very divided. OJ, and then going to my dad's house, and it was all pro OJ, and we're like, wait, what do we believe? And so, we right, because your mom's probably sitting there going, "That's my best friend," and OJ killed my best friend, and now my ex husband's defending him, and and you guys are caught in the middle in a, in a sense during this whole thing, saying, "Gee, who's right? Who's I know telling for, the truth?" I know for us as kids, it was very hard. Like, f- like for me personally, I just felt like. If I was at my mom's, I couldn't really talk about my dad. If I was at my dad's, I couldn't talk about my mom. Now, right. like after the OJ trial was done, they became best friends, and my mom and my my dad and my stepdad played golf together, and it was fine. But during the trial, it was awful for us kids. So when OJ was found innocent, your dad was happy, and your mom was miserable. I think at the end, I don't like know. if you notice, like I. Your dad kind of removed himself after a yeah, while. Yeah, he, he kind of looked shocked. Yeah. yeah. When they read the verdict, we were all just kind of OJ like... OJ looked shocked. Yeah, OJ. No one was more shocked than OJ, believe me. Yeah, that really was, hey, where's your mic? Go I'm ahead. sorry. The, the, their father in particular, I can remember that. If you look back at that tape, he really is like, wow, what just happened? But oh, after the trial, gosh. after the trial, your dad and OJ had a falling out, right? I think so. He kind of kept it away from us. I mean, that was like Uncle OJ, and we'd see him all the time. So after that, I remember the day he got out of jail, I went to his house with my dad and, you know, said hi to him. And then after that, I don't think we saw him again. I think they had a falling out. OJ never hit on you guys? No. 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 Uncle OJ? <laughs> Uncle OJ, <laughs> no. Uncle OJ, I'm surprised. I mean, why not? <laughs> really, man. Yeah. Thank God. Thank you, OJ. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you get on this reality show. Now, your parents divorced. Did you think, did your dad leave your mom or did your mom leave your dad? I think my mom was 12 years younger and I feel like she just felt like <laughs> My she... mom left my dad. Your mom, mom left yeah. your dad. Yeah. Uh, okay. uh, you're being a diplomat. Yeah, Don't my mom left my dad. And, you, <laughs> and your dad seemed like a really together guy and everything. So you probably felt bad for him. Yeah. You probably totally. sided a little more with him. And then your mom runs off with Bruce Jenner, which is an odd Married couple. Of... five months after they divorced. Oh, yeah. Wow. Do you think they were having an affair? Is that what was going no, on? No, no. They got introduced. They went on a blind date. Right. After they got divorced, um, Steve and Candace Garvey set them up on a blind date. <laughs> Another other charming couple. <laughs> did you, did, did you, when you first saw Bruce Jenner, because you've said, you've spoken about his plastic surgery, and I'm always, I'm fascinated by Bruce Jenner's plastic surgery, and he seems like a nice enough guy and everything, but he was one of the most handsome men in America. Yeah. I mean, if I could have had a face like that, yeah. I mean, I'd be like, what? Well, I would never touch it. <laughs> yeah. This thing, I'm trying to figure out what to do with it still. But I'm saying, if I had a face like that, and Bruce Jenner was like one of the best looking guys in the world. Every guy wanted to look like Bruce Jenner. What do you think? Did he, did he go psycho in some way or berserk? Like, have you ever spoken to him about How old was he when he got his he face was like, in too? His, I like, think, young. He was young, he right? He his nose down in, a, in, like, not the top facelift, but, like, the, the partial, the bottom yes. face lift. And a guy just talked him into it, and he was really insecure, and right. everyone has their own issues, and I guess he wasn't comfortable with himself, and he wanted to fix his nose, and the guy talked him into doing something else. And it was drastic. I mean, he job. knows, like, when he got his face fixed recently, he... You know, he was so afraid to do so. He was like, I just, I don't even want to touch it again. I know it's going to be, they're going to be worse than what it was. So he... He knew it wasn't. Do you like good. him? I love, him. love him. You he love is. him. I've known him since I've been four. Why do you think you guys love him so much? And the sense I hear your mom left your dad and all, but yet you accept like right away. Well, you accept- but my dad learned to like after they got over their issues. It wasn't Bruce. Bruce and my dad became best friends, and I I really have this like respect for Bruce for finally opening up to us and talking to us and telling us, you know, he did have insecurities. He's not perfect. He was feeling this way and right. would talk to us and say, I hope you girls don't get asked these uncomfortable questions about me. And I hope I, you know, don't make you feel uncomfortable. And I'm really, it was really courageous of him to do it on the show. So he's and a good guy. He's a great guy. The best guy. I think why I personally love Bruce so much is because he's never tried to force himself on us as I'm your dad. Now he's always been like, so accepting of knowing he's our stepdad and 
He I'm loves us. To push the role. Yeah, I notice on the show. And I he, love that. He kind of really has a good way of just staying yes, out of things. He like does. he steers clear. Even if your mom gets nutty with you and and gets all permissive and all this, he seems to know that it look, this isn't my scene. Right, I, I, yeah. I don't have control over these girls. I can only give them advice if they ask. He's really securing himself in that aspect that he can. Right. And also I love that he lets us love my father still, even though he's not jealous of he's that. He's not or, jealous and doesn't get insecure. Right. There's pictures of my dad all around the house. Right. And he just He's got to deal with it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You guys what still is live. Your with... True living situation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, li- you don't live with your mom. <laughs> Everyone do you? thinks we live at home. No, now. no. I'm they... married, so I live with my husband. <laughs> but where right. do you live? Chloe doesn't even have a house yet. Do you? I'm moving on the 21st. Finally. But Finally. what do you do? What, so, so when you say there's pictures of your your dad all around the house, now that like you guys are out of the house, why would you? Oh, in your own homes, you're saying you have pictures. No, of your our dad. homes, even in my mom's. I mean, why does your mom still have pictures of your dad? Their pictures are like my little sisters who are Bruce's and my mom's kids. Like but they would call my dad Uncle Robert. They were really close them towards together. the end. Right. You ever see Bruce naked? Ew, no. <laughs> no. Never seen his penis? I would die. You would kill no. yourself? I would kill myself if I saw his <laughs> penis. Die. Uh, I would die. Uh, so, I wonder if he has bikini waxes. I wonder, too, because he seems a little, <laughs> you know, feminine that way. He, he's not. He's a, very hairless, actually. Like, right. I've seen his chest. Right. He's, mm. like, still ripped for being, he really like, 60. Is. Yeah, he's in good shape. He's, like, yeah. 80, But he 60. vows to never work out ever again. If he, because he like probably weights. Because he's he so did it his whole life. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So so let me understand something now. What's with you two? Only black guys? Is that the thing? I'm only black guys. She's only, what I'm happened not. there? I mean, Once what you is go that? black, you just never go back. Is that true? Not true. And for I me, think it's true. All right, I don't know much. Kim, what, what, when have you gone back from black? I've had a boyfriend my whole life. Well, and he's been black, so what are you talking about? I'm just saying I'm a totally, totally half and half. Like Where's completely? the other half? Like, before. Why and then you? once you went black, you haven't gone back. So, hello, it's a true statement. No, but I'm saying, no, I'm saying I would, though. Like, I would. You would go back, but you don't. Completely. Your sister's right. Well, just because I have a boyfriend. But if I didn't, so I would, hello, shoulda, would, woulda, coulda. I don't understand the logic in this Call me because I would. <laughs> Don't you think your sex tape was so outrageous because you were with a black guy? Like, still, white America has a hard time with that. And here you are, beautiful young girl having sex with a black man on the tape. I mean, it's still pretty taboo, right? Yeah. I knew chicks. I, I knew girls like you. I think so. Growing up, I knew this girl. She was really hot. She'd only date black guys. Like, she could not be with a white guy. She, her parents were really distressed about it. And so she started dating my friend who was white, but he looked black. Mm-hmm. He had like a fro and, right. and, and very broad features and stuff. Mm-hmm. And, and he looked sort of traditionally black. Mm-hmm. So, and then, but, <laughs> but then, she was, then she was fucking a cook behind his back oh. because uh, he, was a, he was a real black guy. Right. You know, he had the whole thing going on. Black Honestly, is what is it? What do you, how do you think this all well, happened? Well, for me being, I don't know how it happened, but for I me being... Maybe because we have such like big asses. Like the black guys like love a big ass. Yeah, but we you like but you lo- but you love the black guys. You love the black man. I do. Was it? Se- did you ever have sex with a white guy? No. Never. Never me. No. Never? I've never. No. Never. And, and growing up, did so you only weird. fantasize never. about black guys? Yeah, I mean, now that I'm older, I definitely look. I think when I was younger, it was more all about black guys. Now that I'm older, I, I look at. A lot of white guys, they're always older white men, though. And yeah. I'm always like, he's really attractive. When I was younger, I never thought so. But the older I get, the more I'm like, oh, he's a handsome man. Was there a time when even your mother sat you down or your father when he was alive or even Bruce Jenner and sat you down and said, listen, I'm not prejudiced. I'm saying, but what, what is going on here? Why, yeah, can, can't you be with course. a white guy? Who the sat you, you down? Yeah, right. Well, Who my sat father, you down? like, always wanted us to be with an Armenian guy. Right. And we were just like... Okay, Where are you going to find one of us? Yeah. Yeah. Where am I going to move to? <laughs> Armenia? Yeah. That's a tough, that's a tough one. To, that's, all right, that's a little too that's narrow. Tough. Yeah. But, I would say my dad had issues with it. And then after, you know, the whole OJ thing, I think he was like, this could happen to you guys. Like, right. this is, he got really After really the OJ protective. thing, he, he got sort of racist about it, right? <laughs> really? Jesus. Yeah. Well, I mean, he but didn't then want to... he realized that it just was going to be the way it was. Right. So and, it wasn't going to change. And so how old were you girls when you started having sex with black guys? Well, I had a boyfriend in high school from when I was like... <laughs> Where'd you meet a black guy in Beverly Hills? Well, I went to an all-girls Catholic private school. That's, so That's what ruined I... us. Right. That's what did it. <laughs> was your first kiss black? No. My first no. boyfriend was not Mine black. wasn't. My No. Oh, how disappointing. 
I know, right? Guys must yeah. Have sucked. <laughs> they, obviously, they turned me away. She is. Are black guys you think better in bed? Is that I the thing? I don't know. You don't know because it's all you've ever slept no, with. Yeah. But 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 you've had both. I'd say it's just all about the chemistry between <laughs> people. I'm really like right. uncomfortable like when I talk about like personal. I'm not what, about things. sex. Yeah. I don't really? Know why I get really like nervous. People honestly, I think people perceive Kim as being so outgoing and. Like, like this very sexual person. You do stuff. seem sexual to me, though. She's not at all, and, and she's so shy. But I always so see shy. pictures of you in bikinis and showing off your new body. I like to go to the beach and stuff. <laughs> but that's very, very sexual. I mean, you're putting it out there. It's I hot. I guess so. I guess you would see that. I guess yeah. I would put that out there. Are your boobs real? They are. Mine Both are. Both of you? Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. Nice rack. Courtney's aren't. Oh. She isn't. Mine aren't as big as hers, but she's Kim's a nice got rack. huge boobs. <laughs> what are you, a D? I'm a 34D. Nice. Oh, Christ. What every woman should be. I'm a, yeah. I'm a Jesus, B. Jesus, white guys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, I like hers too. Don't do you, worry. Do you get angry I that your sister don't. was born with a D and you were not? No, I actually, I don't, I like my boobs. I had, I would pray when I was in like 11, <laughs> when I was like 11, my boobs started to get really big and Courtney, who's my older sister, was so flat. And I would cry and she would make fun of me and in front of all the guys, like at school, she would just like totally make fun of me not at school but the guys outside of school and she would just be like Kim has the biggest boobs the Kim, biggest nipples and like make fun of me when I was do 11 do you have big nipples? not really no <laughs> but, do, do, there's nothing wrong with that no shame in that but she would say these embarrassing things because at like 11 I was so embarrassed that I had huge boobs and you were good friends with Paris Hilton both of you were or just Kim? I was she when was I was younger you Nikki. Were. and oh you were friends with Nikki so, so Paris Hilton you would think would be happy for your success in the sense that she sort of came out of nowhere. Her family was interesting. Her background was interesting. She became a reality star. You mm -hmm. could say the same for you guys. Mm -hmm. You were not anyone famous, but somehow through this sort of wacky lifestyle, wild lifestyle, uh, hanging out in clubs and things, people became um, aware of you. Mm -hmm. But Paris Hilton is jealous of you, isn't she? You know what? I haven't talked to her in a few years. Why? Um, you were good friends. We were good friends. What happened? You got famous and she couldn't deal with it, right? Be honest. If you say so. I I'm don't asking know. you. I what, don't know. what was the falling out? Did you ever say to her, Paris, what's going on here? I never did. We why? just, it was one time we just didn't speak again. And th th you guys know why you're not speaking. Let's be honest. Well, I mean, you why be afraid to I, say I did, it? I, I did speak to her once when she went on a radio station and said that my ass looks like cellulite like in a trash bag or something she went on a, a radio station and she did call me to apologize cottage cheese cottage cheese oh, did your oh, ass has shit. cottage cheese in it that's what she said it she needed like. to put you down so what does she feel you copied her success or i'm sure somehow you take away from something that she has i'm sure but i haven't I, we've never had a conversation about it we just one day did not speak again don't you guys compete for I the same dollars in a sense happened. that part of the way you guys make a living, you can show up at a club and get paid $25,000 or something for just showing up, just to be at a party? I mean, you would think that. You would think that there's... See, for me, like with all my friends... I would love for my friends to do it so then I could be like, hey, let's do it together. Let's see if we can get like a package deal and let's right. go and host the party But I feel together. like also us as sisters when we were instilled with these things, we're better as three than we are as one. Like three heads are better than one. But There's power in numbers, and I think that sometimes people forget that. And if you like, I've had the same best friends since ele since literally kindergarten, and my sisters are my best friends. So I don't have that switching of friend stuff. Yes, we grew up together. Our moms are are good friends. I love her family. She has she showed me. I, I it's cool because she's a she's a really smart girl, and she showed me a lot that I never was aware of. Like I was, you know, living. I moved out to the valley with the boyfriend, and and when I when we broke up, I felt like I wanted to move back to Beverly Hills where all my friends were. She showed me so much. I was traveling the world with her. I'd never really traveled like that, and she showed me a lot. And um, you know, I'm thankful for everything that I learned from her. But but she became jealous. And you uh, and, and isn't it true now you can appear at a club somewhere and get more money than Paris Hilton herself, right? I don't know what what's her going rate. Well, I heard yours is twenty five thousand to appear. Nice. Is that true? Kim's is more. Kim's is more. <laughs> wow. Twenty five, honey. Twenty five's nothing. It's up. Fifty. I want you to come to a party, and I want you to because I'm opening a new club. What do I have to pay? Fifty. Well, if it's a birthday or New Year's, Go it's going to be a lot more. Right. 
So if it's just a regular Wednesday, when regular what, Wednesday what day night, is your party? my day my day is Wednesday. That's the day I need to pump up. I want to get everyone <laughs> to the club. I want to get you your want friends. Me to give you a deal. I want you no no deal. I want the actual the regular rate. He, every, that's right. he wants to know what the rate is. What's the rate? Say about forty. Forty thou. Can Paris Hilton get as much as you? I heard What's that like her on rate a regular Wednesday. I heard go up. no, but a lot of girls are getting up to you know. A hundred for New Year's, stuff like that. But He's I'm talking sa- about Wednesday. I'm talking about Wednesday, yeah. and I'm talking about Paris Hilton. I heard that her kind of cachet is going down, that she's not as in demand. It's really weird. People don't really disclose that, but there are, right. like, there's levels, levels of, you know, this one's making it's, this. All the promoters know it. It but. seems like great work. I mean, it seems kind of fun. You show up at a club, and you bring your friends, and 40 grand later, you're kind of, you know, you're having a party, you can drink. I feel like it is definitely the easiest, funnest job, and it's something that, you know, even my boyfriend doesn't really understand. Like, well, why are you going out to all these clubs and parties? And well, I don't I don't drink alcohol. I just don't like it. Right. So it's not like I'm out there partying. Do you do smoke weed? <laughs> no. All right, nothing wrong with uh, that. Blow? <laughs> you do I any blow? I really don't, know. You don't like blow? I've, right. I've never well, tried it. All right, fair so enough. So I, um... Yeah. What I do love you do with these clubs? <laughs> it sounds boring. Well, because I have different... She is boring at the clubs. I'm, Don't I'm get boring. me. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> but I'm not is. that type that sits in the VIP club and just doesn't, like, do ignores dance? everyone. I go out and I, like, no, go she into... Doesn't. I don't dance. She doesn't dance? And what does she do? She sits in and I, No, I talk to... <laughs> That's no, the cool don't. move. Do you show your ass? You sit and text. Yeah, I'll do it. She'll do one dance. Show them the one dance that you do. Let me see your dance. I'll dance with you. The one that your hand goes up. They make fun of me. They say that all I do is stand there and, like, show my ass and I'll be like... I like it. <laughs> but I don't. I don't. You don't do any of this? <laughs> no. no. Okay. But so, you, can, you can interact with people. Like, if I have, like, these are the girls. Like, I write on my blog every single day, and I have a fragrance that's coming out. And these are the girls at the club that are going to be buying my fragrance. So I don't sit there in the VIP room. I go, and I'll talk to everyone, and we'll talk about, you know. Sometimes it seems on the show that Kim gets more attention than, let's say, Chloe. And, Chloe, you get jealous. So you get like, hey, we have a family business. Mm-hmm. Kim's making all the decisions. She's calling all the shots. Who the fuck is she? She's you just one what? of the sisters. My favorite episode. My- Yes. Was when they found out that you and your mom had made this oh, the deal perfume. for the fragrance. Right. Yeah. Talk to oh me about that. Is, no, it's is, not. Is, is, is Kim, in a sense, too full of herself? Is well, she wait re- till really... season four. I'm just no, it's not. Now. It's not. It's I don't get Chloe upset about Kim um, making decisions. Sometimes I feel like Courtney and I and Kim, we make all these. De- we work so hard. Right. But then Kim's the one. Like that gets all the credit for it. And we're always, but Courtney and I, Courtney just doesn't speak up. I, I'm very vocal. What is the work? In other words, putting out products, going out to these clubs, pro- and doing even, the television show. Right? That's the but money. I maker. do all the club appearances by myself, except for New Year's, the last. Do you guys put year. all the same money in the same pot? In other words, uh, if when you- it comes from our dash, like we have, we're designing for BB for five seasons. We have a Virgin Saints and Angel jewelry line coming out that we designed for. Like so all that the stuff, stuff that we do together. Th- that all goes, goes in one. Yeah, so you have to split that with your mom. Too? No. She, I mean, like she gets commission because she's our management. Commission? Commission, commission. <laughs> Time to end that. You tell her that. We uh, should I'll call tell her, her right now. Call her up. And get, that's bullshit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> M- mommy, shmommy. You're out mommy of the house. Mommy, shmommy. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, you boy. You want to call her and tell her? Nah, you take care of that. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> So, well, so we really did go in there and she said to her mom, you look, you give Kim all the attention. You know, she's your favorite. You know, you really laid into her. Well, Kim and Chris are twins. We're twins, but we also have. They like, are from obsessed the start, with each other. We've started this like before, like my mom came to the, she told me about the show idea. I said, oh my God, I'd love to do it. Do you need me to go into the meetings, help you? Like her and I have always from the start. I just think on the same my mom knows Courtney and I aren't as into it. Like we right. love. We just Kim's are more, more like of a businesswoman type. Yeah, we're we more into our. Right. She could care less. I'm I got just, a question. Mm-hmm. All right, Chloe, let's get down to it. You got married. Yep. All right. Now you married a, a rich guy. Mm-hmm. What, what is he? A basketball, basketball player? player? Yeah, he plays for the Lakers. He's and a he makes great like, player. Yeah, I Thank you. I don't know anything <laughs> about this, but I mean, the Lakers are good. I hate that, but Odom's a great player. And Thank of you. Of course, he's a black guy, which a, you love. Duh. And he must be a big black guy. How tall a guy are we talking? Six nine. Six, six ten. nine. Six must, nine and a half. And I don't mean to be gross, but he must have a penis like a horse. <laughs> it's mean, amazing. It's amazing, right? It's pretty fun. And you're not a tall. Girl. How tall are you? Five six nine. nine. Oh, you are five nine. Yeah. And you can handle something that big, honey. Yeah. Real. You can. handle was he nine inches? I don't know. I Would you measure. say at least? See the biggest penis you've ever had? Yeah. 
And you can handle no, it. No, I don't want no to pro- know that. Well, you, the public <laughs> needs to know. You can handle <laughs> it, right? Yeah. Everything. Show me with your hands. This big? What? That's like a horse. Yes. That's exactly <laughs> what I imagine. Well, we're that's talking like, about a Laker. That's like, oh, my goodness. I don't tall know. Me. I don't know how big. It's as big as your sister. Yeah. It's, it's as big as Kim's leg. <laughs> the first time you... <laughs> su- how, how did you meet him? How did you meet your husband? Um, I was actually... I host clubs, too, and I was hosting... Um, Sorry. Ron Artest plays for the Lakers now and this is welcome to LA party like a Laker party and, and I you was love that there's tons of black men around that's your thing go <laughs> that's ahead that's why I said yes right. and my little brother came with me he wanted to go so I took right. my little brother and I was hosting it and he was there and I met him he was there he was a fun guy did you sleep with him that night or no. did you wait I didn't sleep with him that night. How long did you wait? Well, how long should a girl wait? Every girl would like to get a basketball well, I mean, player. That's honestly, a got I got a month after the day they met. I, so I mean, yeah, I they could have waited 30, long. No, I got married 30 days from the day I met. Honestly, I'm not someone that goes by rules. Some people you meet and you know, like, oh, you just... Can I curse on this show? Sure. Yes, yeah. Oh, some people you meet, you know you're just going to, like, fuck them, and you're like, oh, right. that's it? That's whoa, it. whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and then there's... I, I mean, you do. You know when you, you're like... You're, I don't know. You just have that chemistry with someone, or you have a chemistry that you're like, oh, I really like this guy. Every person's different. So. You met him and he asked you out right away. Because I yes. imagine this move. If you marry a guy in a month, did your mother say? Did Kim say? Did everyone say to you, listen, a month is just too everyone. soon? You're younger. How old are you now? 25. Yeah, you're too young to make that kind of decision. Everyone. Uh, but I've well, never. I'm, I'm still confused as to. Are you married? Because there seemed to be several marriages, several weddings. Then there was a prenup. No, um, there's only one. There's only one wedding. Okay. Right. Now he I think insisted. there was just this like rumors. There was just of, like, rumors are they married, everywhere. Aren't they married? Is it real? Is it just for the TV show? Right. No, they really got but you married. Got, but was... you got married within a month. I got married 30 so... day on my 30th day of okay. knowing him. So you meet this guy in a club. Yes. He asks you out the next day, I assume. This had to move quick. Very quick. Right. You go out. I don't know. Was he take you to dinner? Well... Or did you just take it right home? No, actually, no, let's fuck. actually that <laughs> night we met. Um, then after the club, we all went to eat. We were at, we just went to IHOP. Like me, my brother, my best friend, him, some of his friends, and we were there for like four IHOP. hours. Guy's a yeah. rich guy, but he still goes to IHOP. I love IHOP. You it's love IHOP. It's like place. the best place ever. What do you order there? Pancakes? Country just, omelet, and it comes with a side of pancakes. That's good stuff. I just get pancakes. Oh. Yeah, Love it. Just pancakes. But, you know, we were there for hours just talking, and then it yeah. was like 6 a.m. And he brings you back to his place at 6 a.m. No, then I went home with my brother. Did you make out with him that night? No. No. I never even kissed him. And so I when hope. do you start getting down to it? You had to be the, the day, next too. Day, the next day, like it was 6 a.m. when I went home, the next day... He, we actually ran, coincidentally had the same business manager and I was right. leaving and he was pulling in and he so was. So you didn't, didn't even exchange it. phone numbers or anything? We did exchange phone numbers, but we didn't speak. It was like noon the next day. We had a meeting. It was me, Courtney and Kim at the meeting. We all left and he was pulling in and I, and it just like, it just, everything was he coincident. He took you home? He took you to his, his There's pad? There's no such things as a coincidence. Fate. Right. He no. took you to his house. No, then that night he was like, "Let's, I have a clothing launch tonight. Let's want to come to it." I had to go to my girlfriend's p- birthday party, and then he met me at the birthday party. And that night we even like went to a strip club with my little brother. My and how old's your little brother? <laughs> Twenty two. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, okay, all right. I, I say little brother, but he's still twelve. My- yeah, really. <laughs> Thirteen. That's cool. You're a cool sister. <laughs> Yo, get and this then, kid out of here. So uh, I don't know. We just and then from and so that when, day when, we when never it, left. When, when does the time come when he pulls his pants down? And you see this penis for the first time. <laughs> I think two days after that. Okay, so the within the first three. day three. No, I think it was day four. Day four. Who knew? But who's counting? We got to yeah, get this right. Know. When you tell the kids one day, you got to get you the story. Gotta, yeah. right. I'll tell them when out. their dad showed me his schlong. Right. When you saw the <laughs> schlong, as you call it, uh, was it was it extraordinary? Like, did you gasp? Did you go, no, like, oh, my God. No, honey, she's only used to black eyes. She's used uh, to this. But still, when something's that big, you, 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 I mean, that, that's scary. It's Holy kinda, mackerel. Does it, does it, <laughs> did, did, was it, have you met your in-laws? I assume you have, right? His parents? Yeah. Oh, well, his mother um, isn't alive. Oh, dad yeah. alive, or is he not in touch with the dad? No, the dad's alive. He's yes. alive. And you met him, and yes. you get along with him. Yes. Were some of the black relatives like, what are you doing marrying this white girl kind of thing? Did they kind of put pressure on him? Sometimes a black guy can get that too, you know? Um, y- yeah. I haven't met like most it. of his, most most of them we kind of right. cut off because they weren't too happy with it. So. Right. 
They weren't happy with Mm-mm. it. A lot of black women do not like the white woman marrying the black man. That's right. another They'll thing. They'll kick you your ass. But That's also, right. and I, it's it's also that, but also, you know, it was so soon too right. that you know a lot of people. If they live in New York, he lives in L.A., and I live in L.A., so most of his family isn't. M- almost all of his family is in New York. Why so, is you, the details of your prenup out there? Like, how did that all get? They're out actually there? not out there. That's all fake. Here's what yeah. I read. Tell me if this is fake. All right, he signed a thirty million dollar contract with the Lakers. Not bad. It's a little higher, but yeah. It is higher? Mm-hmm. Okay, according to the prenup, you get 500000 for every year you're married. Fake. 25000 a month in alimony. Be nice. Though. Fake. You get their <laughs> newly purchased $4 million mansion. Well, we did purchase the $4 million mansion. And $5,000 a month for clothing allowance. And nice. $1,000 a month for makeup and hairstyling. That's, that's the deal. Fake. That's all fake. Thousand dollars a month. Oh, and they're supposed that w- to be. That would have lasted a day. I know. Like one time. And there's supposed to be courtside <laughs> seats in there that I get that's too. Like the whole get family those? needs courtside seats. Yes. Uh-huh. Well, that's, that's fair. Ridiculous. That's why you married. Yeah. Why would I want? <laughs> Do they think they're, that you were after his money? Is that what uh, they think motivates you in all of this? A lot of people do, but it's all people forget. Like I've, I have very well-off parents. You're a rich bitch. I yeah. mean, you have your own money. But also, like, we own businesses. We have... I don't need anybody else's money. Are you guys millionaires? Yes. Yeah, I mean, without your husband's yes. uh, situation, you are. Yes. Boy, that's a hot package. Yeah. Did you guys get him to sign something? That's what I say to everyone. I'm like, that's hello. I'm like, I need my guy to sign a That's prenup. right. Who but knows? people, you know, they want to just assume I'm... You know, they're married to a basketball player in 30 days. He's not stupid. Mm. He's... You know what I mean? I'm not stupid. We both... And Kim, you're, 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 bringing money you're, to the you're banging Reggie Bush? Mm-hmm. That's a football player. Mm-hmm. I don't even know who that is. He's great, too, on the New Orleans Saints. Well, they have taste. They're undefeated. <laughs> who's a, who's, the Saints it, are undefeated, yeah. Yeah. He, t- he too, has the big penis? <laughs> yeah? I don't like talking about stuff like Well, come on. Let's His know. Schlong. Is it Howard, schlong he's big? part of their the, juggernaut yeah. office. He has Show, a big yeah. Is it this big? What did Howard say? Uh, uh, who has uh, the bigger uh, penis? This big. <laughs> well, Lamar is probably two, two of Reggie. taller. <laughs> right. So. Reggie is banging you. Yes, Can't be is. a white guy ever. It's always got to be the black guys. I guess so. Maybe Kim would bang you. Oh, you're married. I'm married. <laughs> I'm in a loving relation. No, I I, I hardly look Your like a black guy. Your wife is beautiful. Guy. She's very beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so so what's going to be? Are you going to marry this guy, Reggie? You never know. You know, yeah. we've been together going on three years. You're in love? We like, Yeah, of course. We like to take our time, though, you know? Yeah, You've had only I've, long-term kind of things, right? I do the yeah. long-term thing. Yeah. I was married. I got married at 19 for four years, so I think that <laughs> now I definitely want to just make sure that Smart. I just take my time. Don't be a two-time loser. Yeah, I right. will be a two-time loser. <laughs> Eminem, when Eminem put out a rap song, he, he badmouthed you. Yeah. Did that hurt you, or did it make you happy and say, hey, I'm on the map? I mean, It my- made me ha- I swear, I, I remember, like... Hey, what did he say about you? He, he said, said, Kim uh, Kardashian's a man. He said, you're a man? <laughs> Here's what he said. He says, I think Kim Kardashian's a man. She stomped him just because he asked to put his hands on her massive gluteus maximus again. Yeah. yeah. Uh, did he come on to you and you rejected him? Is that what happened? No, I've never met him. But I, oh. I mean, it's like Eminem being Eminem. He just talks shit about everyone. So I thought it was just fine. Like, I've never cool. heard someone think you were a man. Yeah, I mean, like I, I'm looking you over. I mean, hello. She's like it's gaga gorgeous. gorgeous. Yeah, you are Aww. beautiful. No, that's so Thank weird you. someone would say that about you. You ain't no dude. Nah. Hello. Well, yeah. do you look of, like, looks like a gay, lady. It's sort of gay to say you look like a man. I guess. I think. But I, I, thought, it was, I thought it was like flattering. It's kind of cool. Well, listen. I don't care. Uh, you girls are up to a lot. Um... You did Dancing with the Stars, right? I did. Yeah, you it got eliminated quickly. I figured you could dance. <laughs> I, Honey, I she doesn't dance, dance in clubs. I'm petrified to dance, and my mom then signed me up Then why did you do for, Dancing with the Stars? My mom, as my manager, signed me up before, before even telling me. Was it embarrassing to you not to be a good dancer? I was so humiliated the uh. whole time I was shaking. I wish I could. Like, if I look back now, I'm like, I wish I would have done a better job. I wish I had it in me. But I'm so, like shy and nervous more than what people would think, mm. so it was really hard for me. You dated a white guy. I'm talking to Kim now. You dated a white guy, Nick Lachey, right? Who used to be married to Jessica Simpson and now, you know, dates uh, Vanessa Manolo, all this stuff. We uh, went on a few dates. It wasn't a few dates? Serious. What happened? No, nothing happened? It was just nothing serious. No sex? No sex. Really? Really. No sex. Nothing? Nothing. No making out? No maybe, light petting? Maybe like a kiss or something. <laughs> what a like bozo. A little, he didn't, get to, he didn't get to use his finger or anything? No. <laughs> wow, no. That's too bad. Nick Cannon you used to go out with. That's Mariah, Mariah Carey's, Carey's husband. husband. Yeah. 
You slept with him? Yeah, we were together for. Any good in bed? What What is this yeah. guy's story? I don't know. I don't know. What'd you break up with him for? It just. I mean, it was just not that serious. It was just a little random. Fling. Thing. He's right. an annoying bastard, right? <laughs> Be honest. I mean, that guy's annoying. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> He's got like a degree from Arizona State. Like, what's up, baby? Yeah. Do you girls ever like to go to the ghetto and like hang out? I yeah. mean, you're very into the black culture. Do you ever do that? Do you ever, <laughs> do you ever go to like a really bad neighborhood and hang out? And, just for fun. Just for fun. I'm being serious. Yeah. You, you love it. I you like the say, swap meets. No, but it's almost like you guys want to be part of the whole black thing. I mean, so. <laughs> You know, really? why not? Yeah. I got a great place here in New York. I you don't hang think out. they're Fergie. <laughs> uh, I don't know. They're not wigging it up. <laughs> have you ever hung out with Fergie? I, I have. I love her. Yeah, she's good, right? Yeah, she's so cool. Do you it's think so the Black Eyed Peas have banged her? I do. I think <laughs> Every one of them. guys have. I think they all have. <laughs> I, yeah, the way she just moves and everything looks like she but probably... She's married I don't too. think so. Yeah. I don't she's get that vibe I think her. in the past when they were coming up, maybe they all banged her at one point maybe, or another. Who How could they not? I mean, it'd be I mean, ridiculous. she's hot. If I were the guys, I'd want to. But that's right. Are you friends with Ryan Seacrest? I know he produces your show. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever seen him hook up with a girl and actually go through with it and have sex with her, or is it? I've never seen him have sex. <laughs> I mean, every girl we've had on the show said they went out with him and then he didn't want sex with them. What do you make of that? Really? Yeah. Isn't that odd? I, I heard. He's I've like heard a he's freak like. I was going to say. I've heard really? the complete from girls, opposite I've from heard girls. He's like a freak from of girls the in week. L.A. Now you can see Kim and Khloe Kardashian on Keeping Up with the Kardashians premiering this Sunday night at ten o'clock on E. Well, you've done it. You've uh, how many how many successful seasons have you had? This is our fourth, and um, Courtney and I have a spinoff too. Yeah. Now, what was Courtney got in trouble for? What drinking and driving or that something? That was me. Honey. That was you. What yeah. happened to you? What is it? You seem like a good girl. What are you? What are you? What are you up to? I'm now a good girl. What happened? Tell me what um, um, went wrong. I just had a couple too many drinks, and I, I thought I was a lot more sober, less than you. drunk than I really was. I, I think. I mean, honestly, when you're in the club and you're dancing. It's like you're kind of sweating it out and you're fine. And then when you get in the car, I think it kind of sits. Right. I know that sounds silly, but I think I just was much more wasted than I was. So what do they make you do for that? I mean, did you go to jail or? I went to jail. I mean, they, it was my first offense. I was a .09, limits .08. Okay. I didn't get into an accident. I ran a red light and they pulled me over. Um, I did. They gave you the test? Were you so nervous? Did you see the cop behind you? No, I didn't see the cop behind me. They gave me the test. I failed. They took me into jail that night. I was in there for 19 hours that day. Um, Kimberly and my mom actually came as my visitors to jail. And Kimberly was... was, hookers in there with her. Wow. I was the only person in there. Everyone else was in there for prostitution. I was the only one in there for DUI. Right. Great place to meet black guys. Great. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Great place. Any, uh, any, either of you girls ever have lesbianism? No. No. You're not going to try it? That's No. That's more court, the pregnant one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She she did it. Mm-hmm. Not yeah. all the way, but she'll kiss a girl and she likes it. I she can see Kim doing it. I really? can see you. Yeah, I can see you definitely getting it on with another girl. No. Now, how did Court no. get pregnant? She just didn't broads. use a condom. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she's married. Um, she's not no. married. She's got a kid. She's having. She's about. She's going to have a kid any day now. I think. She just in Miami. Her and Scott ran into each other, and they were drunk. And her Scott is her boyfriend. They boyfriend. Been they for broke a few up. Years and they oh, broke up. So but they didn't... broke up, and he stalked us in Miami. And then he banged her without a rubber. Mm-hmm. Who does he play for? No, Nothing. Play. Wow. <laughs> for the white boy team. Okay. <laughs> Double Oy Vey on that one, yeah. huh? Yeah. And then she just—I don't know. Then when we in Miami, she started throwing up and being Ooh. sleeping a lot and we found out she was pregnant so our single sister's trip turned into you seem more like the party more. girl though kim actually is kind of mellowed out but you uh you're up, you're up for a couple of drinks you do a little coke I'm what a, are you up to i don't do drugs i oh. am a drinker all that's the way that's cool i mean all of us we've never gotten into drugs that's i mean good. chloe obviously had her dui and drinks a little bit and courtney used i to drink, drink. i it's nothing wrong with that. But we meth? never, none of us have done <laughs> drugs. Meth? No. 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 Hash, hash oil? I think because no. so many of my friends so have done drugs and I've yeah. seen such <laughs> negative effects of it. Yes. That They've all gone downhill and you're trying to stay on the straight and narrow. You know I what? I, would, I wouldn't do meth. I'd deal it. Right. Oh. I, you know what's amazing about these two, Howard? They're pretty unique. They date two 
amazing players on right. amazing teams in different sports. Like, yeah. They're two of the premier guys all on premier teams. All we need is Courtney teams. to date a Yankee, and we'd all be, <laughs> you'd be you know, all set. You keep her away from go. the Yankees. Why not? Listen, you girls seem to be doing well. So see Kim and Chloe on Keeping Up with the Kardashians, premiering this Sunday night at 10 o'clock on E. And Kim and Chloe's Quick Trim Diet products are available at GNC stores nationwide. Now, you just lost a lot of weight, right, Kim? Yeah, well, I've lost, Chloe lost about how much? 25 pounds? 27. 27, 27 pounds. That's great. Um, Holy shit. And then I. And you got lost, pretty chiseled. I saw you in a bikini in some magazine showing off your new body. Yeah, I lost Her, about she, ten, a good solid 10 pounds, but I'm only 5'2, so it just makes a big difference on me. Yeah. But I never knew, like, I just would eat. I, I can't really control what I eat. I like to eat. It's, so, what happened? You take this product and you slim down like a little bit? Yeah, and you work out. And kills it, the appetite? Kill, I have the biggest sweet tooth, so it just really curbs that, and it just makes you, it like speeds up your metabolism and just makes you lose weight. Makes you regular. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not does pushing anything, regular? but meth does Do you do it a lot with this thing? <laughs> it just, I don't know. I love it. It just, it gives you energy. It's, it has like black licorice in it, which that's makes what, you duty? A little, but it's <laughs> all how natural. Day, how many times a day you duty? Just once. But you can. You too? <laughs> Look, she's going to die. Kim, do you duty more than once a day? Look, I could see you being pretty regular. She's so embarrassed. You can't. I could see you two or three times a day making a duty. (laughs) Kim, it's okay. It's not embarrassing. Not not that much. (laughs) How do you girls clean up after your duty? Do you ever ever use uh, baby napkins like I do? Wet wipes. You use wet wipes? Wet wipes in every bathroom. All the time. Who makes the bigger duty? You or your sister? Oh, my goodness. Kim. Kim Kim is a killer. How do you see her duty? How do you know? Um, the, The bathroom? Like the stench, Kim. Oh. When do I ever go to the bathroom in front of you? You're, it's not in front of you. It's Kim, just wafting through the house. Never. Poor Reggie. We don't even live together. Uh, Kim, no. I could smell like. it from my house. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Does Reggie say anything about that? Reggie She's leaves. making it up. Did you, would you have a duty in front of Reggie? <laughs> she makes him Can sit I on the floor. Can so yeah. disgusting? Go ahead. My sister, my brother and his ex-girlfriend... They were like so no. obsessed with each other; they could never be apart. He would go to the bathroom, and she would sit on his lap and oh. be there. Oh. Oh. You're lying! Oh. I swear. Oh that's a blumpkin. That's, that's practically <laughs> that's a, blumpkin. a blumpkin. That is a that's blumpkin. A blumpkin. Wow. Yeah, when you get blown while you're yeah. shitting. That's right. What? I don't think it's like yeah. girls are Who never knew? supposed to like fart or shit or any of that. Let me so. tell you something. I've never seen my wife shit. I don't talk Good. about my wife that with my boyfriend. Shit. She doesn't fart, and I tell you what, it keeps it real. Yes, yes. And I'm even now into that. I don't do any farting in front of her. I, you know, I got my own bathroom. I do my thing when I have I, to. I yeah, agree. We have separate bathrooms. Yeah. Right. I don't. I don't believe in you it. You got to keep it real. I've yeah. broken up with three chicks because I shit my pants. In front of <laughs> <her>. <laughs> you know, you know who their brother was dating? Who? That chick that was in here last week. That Lisa Ann chick, the Sarah Palin porn. No, star. he was not. That was she a lie. Said, she said that he. She dated yeah, that him. That was that a is lie. such a lie. Not well, true. How do you know, girls? That was out there having fun. De- definitely not his ex girlfriend. No, <laughs> he, we're talking he about the- met her at the gym and nothing. That was it. Did you guys ever get it on with the same guy? No, no. I don't go for the same. You would we never have double- very different. We taste. don't. Yeah, we have. All you would three never double team. You would never double team a guy. No. no. Right. I Nobody's don't, gotten the Kardashian sisters. No, no. no. It doesn't sound like you have different days. <laughs> something we something do. I would like to do. Get all three of them in a room and I see can, if I can't get something going. I can imagine Kim shitting and Reggie's like, damn, bitch, what you eating? All right. Uh, <laughs> and look for the Kim Kardashian fragrance this February exclusively at Sephora stores. Uh, go ahead. A couple of quick questions for the Kardashian girls. And then we'll move along. Hey, Ralph. Hey, you know, Chloe was on that last great season of The Apprentice, but it was was really weird because Trump kicked her off because she had to do community service for that junk drunk driving. I just thought that was kind of fucked. Like, Chloe, were you like, uh, what was the deal? Was he trying to thin out the herd or... Like, Were you screwed over on The Apprentice? Yeah. Because, I was. Yeah. Um, uh, he knew about my DUI before I went on the show. She had to get it clear. I had to get right. it clear because I did have to go back to L.A. to do one thing for it while I was filming. And basically, I just wasn't enough drama, I feel, for him. I, You know, I really was there for charity. I didn't know I was there to throw everybody under the bus. So I think that's why he kicked me off is just to, I was boring. Do you think <laughs> if you guys hadn't been successful in terms of becoming famous, it would have like wrecked your life? Did, did you have the drive in the same way that this couple who broke into the White House? Or, not at know, all. Not at all? Was it mm-hmm. not a burning passion for you to get famous? No, it actually, happened, I, and we're having so much fun while this ride is, is lasting, but we all have 
really normal lives outside of this and we have like our clothing store dash and stuff that we did before that right. that's what we you were working you now. were working before right yeah. you right. worked uh, for what you worked for celebrities and actually uh, put yes. their clothing together and you were a stylist I was a stylist and had this closet or- organizing company and we had our clothing <laughs> store so we would just continue to do that kind right. of stuff guess who was organizing well, my cl- he's laughing, laughing because cause I had I had a big discussion with you yesterday about organizing my closet uh-huh. <laughs> Can I get $25,000 for a party? Well, you know what? <laughs> Start by organizing my closet better. Organize your closet and That's sell it all on eBay. I'm addicted to eBay, so I take everything from my closet and sell it. I bet Ralph can get a few Gs. Yeah. <laughs> I would give you like 100 bucks to show up at a party. And I drink and dance. That's right. Uh, Absolutely. Me too. <laughs> all right. So you were working girls. The perception is that you guys never had to work or do right. anything for your... Not but true. you always had something going on. All right. Jim, go ahead uh, quickly. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say, Howard. I mean, you know, I pay 50 grand for you to come to one of my parties, but I mean, and they haven't done anything to deserve that, really. Well, the girls. I should charge them 50 grand, to call, you know, for me to come to one of their parties. Well, don't be mad at them. They're just getting 50 yeah, grand. And, and we're just doing what people out. offer. Yeah. Don't Absolutely. hate the player. Hate the. Uh, Holla. The, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to a Dan. Dan, when you're, when you, uh, by the way, girls, when you're with your boyfriend or your husband, do you black it up at all? Do you, do you have a, an ability to talk in the... the Not dialogue? at all. you ever go, we all want some, No, I no. hate no. people My boyfriend like that. doesn't even talk like that. No. Neither, no, Not Lamar doesn't talk like that either. You don't like when white people put on the... Uh, yeah, outfit. like, you are who you are. I don't like people that try to... Like, you just accept who you are, and I just... I don't like people that talk differently like around different people. We like the biggest Valley Girls. Like, you know, we are Valley Girls. Uh, Dan, go ahead Hello and... Hello there, Lamar! <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Me, when I'm around black people, I put on my black athlete. I go to like 1850. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> hey, Lamar, might you be so kind as to tell me where the vacuum is? <laughs> uh, Dan, go ahead. You're on the air. Dan in Philly. Dan the man. All right. Let's go to Roger. Roger. Yo, Howard, can we get these girls on the Sivian? <laughs> Let's do it. Do you girls ever masturbate with a vibrator? Yeah. You do. You like it? Kim, you... are you okay? I'll let Chloe answer this. Kim, one. you don't? You never don't touch yourself? To, I don't talk about something like that. Would you use a vibrator or would you use your own fingers? <laughs> I don't know. Be honest. I don't know. What oh do my. you use? What does she use? You know. <laughs> I've never Chloe seen her do it. All these not after one of those enormous shits. <laughs> <laughs> I do not take enormous shits. <laughs> I was oh totally Chloe kidding. About kidding. kidding. <laughs> I was kidding. I just like to fuck with Kim because she gets so uncomfortable. It's funny. What's the big deal about? Uh, are you embarrassed by masturbation? We all do it. No, I just don't ever like talk great. about stuff like this. Really? I always get really like. Can you get yourself off by just sitting on your foot like Robin can? Oh, here we go. I never said that. She can rock back and forth and get herself you off. You can. No. Oh. She I was squeezes, like, that's a gift. She squeezes her legs together. Right <laughs> Who do you guys think about when you masturbate? Like George Washington Carver or something? Uh, no. <laughs> you only think about black guys when you masturbate? I honestly just think about my husband right now. Bullshit. No, oh, come on. Because come on. he's on the, you know, he has 82 games a year. And do you trust him to go on the road by 100%. himself? 100%. You don't think he'll cheat? No. Right. You guys are both very young. I'm, he's 30. Nah, it's still young. young. What basketball Tiger Woods, player cheats Look what happened with Tiger Woods. Right, but I Mr. just Perfect. don't. He, is, he, is he sort of your type, Tiger Woods? Not your no. Type, right? Mm-mm. Not mine feel, at all. I don't feel he's black enough. No, he's, he's sort of just like, I, he just, uh, I don't know. Yeah. I'm not really into golf. You wouldn't right. be turned on by a message <laughs> like... Golf reminds me of like Bruce. Yeah, Bruce and golf. All right. Oh, it's not for you. Yeah. He's a good athlete. Well, listen, girls, you're delightful. Thank you. You got a lot going on. I'm not even sure what's going on, but it seems like you got a lot <laughs> a going on. Going. I, I don't know what away. happened. You're, you're, you're banging, that's you're favorite, shitting. That's my favorite question. Like, what do you guys do? We're shitting from Quick Trim. We're banging. Do well, you no, really, we're not athletes. Are you really regular from your Quick Trim? No, I'm kidding. I oh. honestly It does kidding. make you regular. Would you guys in ever, a good, healthy way. Would you ever date a guy? This is more for Chloe than Kim. Okay. Would you ever date a guy as light as, let's say, President Obama, or would they have to be darker? <laughs> no, is he too I light? think... President Obama is so handsome. Chloe. What? I think he's too light for Chloe. I don't too know. Light, I mean, right? she <laughs> goes do. super black. She likes I don't. I, th- I, I think he's so Wesley handsome. Wesley Snipes black you like. Oh, no. No, maybe. Too black? Wesley Snipes? I mean, you just have it's not about the color of skin, it's about the chemistry. Well, it seems for I you it's about the color. Ask, who's the hottest <laughs> actor out there for you today? Who, who I honestly really I hot? love Denzel. I just I think cuz his acting I just think 
I don't know. I love Denzel as an actor. Is that the right skin tone? He's not too dark. He's perfect. He's perfect. <laughs> Obama is not too white for you. I, I love Obama. Like you would DiCaprio have sex with Obama if he was single. Hello, I would do it for our country. You would. You yeah. would have sex with Obama. For, you know what? You're a true patriot. I, I am. Right. I'm gonna do it for the country. <laughs> Goddamn right. This Jeez. is a stressful time. Yes. <laughs> Good for you. You know, I think you'd uh, like pick up Sanford and Son on DVD. The guy who played Rollo. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can jerk off to that. Oh my that. God, it was hot. <laughs> no, seriously, Kim, when you masturbate, do you think about the black man? Do you? No. No? Uh-uh. Kim <laughs> Lying. doesn't. Look at her. She's like going to faint. What, what magazines do you guys look at? Like Jet and stuff like that when you when you want to pleasure yourself? I mean, what do you look at? <laughs> I don't know. Totally. All right, Robin. Big black dicks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. We just opened up a football magazine. There is one. When you guys would buy porn, like girls would buy porn, right? And stuff. When you were growing up, would you buy black porn? I've never bought porn, actually. Mm -mm. No. When you were growing up, do you ever fantasize about OJ? Oh, Either oh, one of you? That was Uncle no. OJ. No. You know you did. No. Kim. <laughs> Kim, no. Kim probably did. She blames everything on me. I know. Kim. Oh, a rental. <laughs> <laughs> See Kim and Khloe Kardashian on Keeping Up with the Kardashians, premiering this Sunday night at 10 o'clock on E. I like you girls. Yeah, we like right. you, uh, Howie. Well, hey, we like each other. If only I was a black man. If we only. Can cornrow your hair for you. <laughs> cornrow me up. Kim knows how to cornrow. That's how black she is. Help me out. I would do blackface to date one of these broads. Kim and Chloe's <laughs> quick trim diet products are available at GNC stores nationwide. And uh, you can look for the Kim Kardashian fragrance this February exclusively at Sephora stores. Keep us uh, updated on what's going on. I'm proud of you that you get more money than Paris Hilton at these clubs. Good for you. Yeah, she's got no That's ass. That's exciting. Yeah. And uh, I like it. I like what's going on. Say hi to Bruce. Tell Thank him enough you. with the surgery. He's done. Yeah, it's, it's over. He looks great now. He almost has no nose. Yeah, no, I mean, but they, the doctor completely fixed him. He looks like Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> fixed, him up, fixed up his nose, too. We'll see the new face in this season. Nose, no. no, we did everything. it at the um, the finale of last season, but you okay. got to see it. It look, He looks great. Okay. He does look great. Right. All right, good. Now, right. listen, what can I do? He's got his problems. I got mine. <laughs> he um, created his problems. Oh, the Tiger Woods is on the phone. He needs uh, to speak to you girls. Okay. Yes, Yes, Tiger? Uh, Tiger, yeah, I'd like to get uh, Courtney's uh, number so I can round out the professional athletes in the family. Yeah. Well, well, okay, do well, you mind uh, giving Tiger Woods your uh, phone number? Tiger, you holding up all right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah every, it's every, huge, quickly. Everything's okay, all right, well, that's good. All right, look, we uh, have to take a break. Girls, thank you. Thank, thank you. Man. I've taken away two things from this interview. Go ahead. Big shits and black guys. Right. Oh. Everybody wearing underwear today, or does everyone not wear panties? I normally okay. don't, but I am today. I, I don't know don't, why. And I wear them today because I think it's cold. <laughs> when know. you say you don't wear panties, like that's just a conscious decision because it's hot, or be, you know, because he's just a hotter kind of look, or what? No, uh, like for some things, no. I don't like the it like cuts you off in some clothes. You can but see it through a dress. You know. Do you like to be photographed like and like, like you get out of a car and then you can see a little no. bit of a vagina? Never. I will not get out of a car if there's anyone there. I, yeah. I will leave before I get out. I, I think it's sure. sexy that you guys don't wear panties. I love that. But we only don't wear panties if we know you can't get crotch shots. And yeah. You, but you wear a mini skirt with no panties and walk oh, around. No. Oh, no. You, you will wear panties. Yeah. In yeah. some dresses, if they're a certain length, I won't wear panties. But or if like they're little shorts or something. If they're mini, maybe. then you, you, know, you got to cover the... Thing. Like the, the paparazzi the will literally get down on the ground just to get that shot. Like they'll lay on the floor or kneel down, wow. and I'll say, "I'm not getting out unless you." They want to see Reggie's bush. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a break. We'll be back. Right, at, what, anal sex? You girls down for that? Who likes it? Look, who does? Kim's it? about to cry. Kim, do you like anal? Yes or no? I'm not answering. Exit this. or entrance? <laughs> Come on. Answer. That's why Kim shit so much. Oh, oh, I'm just God. kidding. Oh. Can a brother Seriously. spank you girls? Can a brother Kim spank you girls? I love being spanked. Yes. You like it. You yes, both I'll like being spanked. Like getting your hair pulled? I love yes. it. Do you like talking dirty in bed? Love yes. it. I love all that. Yes. Uh, you like 69? Who doesn't like that? <laughs> yeah. You guys like gunplay in bed? What's gun that? What's that? Take a gun to your head. <laughs> no, I've never done <laughs> gunplay. Right, well, okay, then you can't be with me. Oh, okay. That's right. I'm what do you like say when you're talking dirty? <laughs> oh, I, dirty for me. I go crazy. Yeah. What do you say? Come on, baby. Oh, I would never say. Would you say the N-word? <laughs> oh, come no. on, baby. No. No. Well, Will you ever use the N-word? If your husband said to you or your boyfriend... Call me the N-word. Never. No. Never. Mm-mm. I've never said it. Never will. All right. And, uh, well, that's enough for me. And uh, Anal, yes or no? <laughs> will you do it? <laughs> mm. 
Chloe? <laughs> That's good enough. That fart was great. Will you do anal for your man <laughs> if he wants it? I think Chloe will do anything for her man. For no. my husband, anything. Fair enough. I'm I faithful. Do, I will do anything for my husband. Kim, will you do it for your man? I'll do anything for my husband. For your husband. <laughs> so you haven't your, tried it yet. You're oh, not married. You, yeah, she was married. I will oh. do anything for my husband. All right. Fair enough, girls. I like it. Got a good I like attitude. it a lot. I like it. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. I like it a We're going to take a break, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then we'll come back. And by the way, speaking of the black man, Keenan Thompson's here. He's on uh, Saturday Night Live. Funny guy. Yes, Oh, he yeah. I've been watching him. He's good. You chick should date him. Yeah. That is a guy you could date. <laughs> come on. All right. We'll be back right after these words. Thanks, girls. Next time we'll be a little Kim, more relaxed. Chloe. Yes. Guys, we're on camera. Guys, how did, uh, <laughs> how did it go in there today? Oh, it was yeah. funny. He's, he's really funny. Now spoke you spoke about it all. You guys talk, yeah, you talked about a lot of things today. Mm -hmm. And you seem, uh, Kim, you seemed a little uh, shy about talking about uh, the sex and I always masturbating. Get shy. And like, <laughs> I don't usually talk about that with my friends, let alone a stranger, so it's kind of weird. I just And I shy. always <laughs> talk about sex and masturbating and anal, like that's just what I do in life, so... And poop. <laughs> you guys are a little weird. By the way, she was making that all up. That's so. not true? I make sure? How would she know? Nothing that I say is serious just to confuse you guys, so you never know when I'm telling the truth. 